Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and today I'm doing a quick review for PJ Masks Heroes of the Night on Xbox. Let's get into it. PJ Masks Heroes of the Night is a tie-in video game based on the TV show of the same name, PJ Masks. In the game, it sees you playing as three kids who are the PJ Masks gang, Catboy, Owlet, and Gecko. Now, each of them have sort of superpowers. Gecko has the powers of a gecko, like uh, he can climb up walls and has super strength. Catboy, he's got like super speed and stuff like that. And Owlet, obviously, can fly. Now, in this game, you'll be going on a variety of different missions into the night to save the day. So, you'll be going against all of the sort of baddies from the TV show. You'll be going to all of the um, sort of locations from the show, like the museum, the Mystery Mountain, even to the moon. And you have the help from the PJ robot as well. So this game is a single player sort of platforming game where you control the three characters as well as their vehicles. So can you save the day? You've got to play through it like an episode of the TV show to find out. So what do we think of the game? Well my kids loved PJ Masks when they were kids, like young kids. They watched it quite a lot. It's not the worst TV show. It basically sees three kids that um, go to school together and it's they fight crime I during the night. Hence being called what PJ Masks. They put on like their superpowered you know, PJs basically. And they go out during the night fighting crime and no one ever knows about it. Weird little sort of TV show. It's great for kids. But there's never anyone about in the evening oh, yes, after sort of like 6pm apparently in this whole like city. But hey, my kids loved it and it was great to see a tying game on a sort of modern console now i believe there's been some other tying games previously but like i said this is the first one i've seen on sort of like your xboxes and your playstations now the game is single player only and this is the biggest complaint we had from the game is while the gameplay isn't bad there's lots of times where you have to um switch between characters pick the best character for the job uh, at times it's like oh i need to get through this gate who will i get oh i'll get catboy because he can super speed through or i need to move a boulder i need gecko etc etc but it's a game about a team of superheroes but you only get to play on your own which is a shame i feel like this could have done with um like co-op even if it was like jump in jump out co-op or something like that it, it's, it's just a missed opportunity now the gameplay wise it's a very simple platformer as you can see from the screens it's never too challenging there's lots of platforming sections and the way the levels are sort of split out is um, you play as the characters in their cars for some of the section so you'll either be driving or flying or going underwater then you'll be sort of running around as the character as you can see on the screen and then You'll have um, you'll play as each of the characters in each level, so you'll play for each of them about a third of each of the the level, and you'll switch between them. And then at the end, you'll have like a quick time event style boss fight where you'll defeat the boss using sort of button presses. Now, throughout each of the levels, there are like gems to collect. If you collect all of them, you'll basically get a gold medal um, for the level. If you collect less, you can get bronze and silver, and they equate to like little trophies you get at the end now there's also three emblems to collect so collecting these um there's one for each of the characters and there are achievements related to collecting all of them across all of the levels now gameplay wise it is a, a fairly straightforward game y your little kids will get on quite well it does handhold you all the way through it gives you lots of instructions lots of tutorials my kids didn't play it for too long it's i think it was a bit too simple for them they prefer the sort of they're, they're at that age now where they're sort of like eight year old where they, they want a bit more of a challenging games which is a shame that this didn't come out around the time when they were into pj masks 
but for younger kids and kids of the show i highly recommend checking it out it's just a shame it doesn't have the um multiplayer aspects which you would think from a sort of team-based superhero gang PJ Masks Heroes of the Night was released in October 2021, developed by p Studio and published by Outright Games, who were kind enough to send us a copy for this review, so big thank you to them for that. Now, the game is playable on Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S, and it's also available on pretty much every platform known to man, PlayStation, Nintendo and PC. It supports smart delivery on the Xbox and it's optimized for Xbox Series X and S consoles with 4K resolution and 60 FPS. Now the game is priced at £34.99 and it also has a piece of downloadable content for £4.99 which adds three extra missions that you can work your way through and that is called Mischief on Mystery Mountain. So the core game takes about five to six hours to play through depending on your skill level However, like I say, little kids will probably get a lot of replayability going back through the levels, obviously trying to get all of the sort of gems. Even I missed some when I was doing it with my kids because some of them are a little tricky when you're driving the cars and the vehicles. But overall, like I say, it's a fun little game. And if you're a fan of the franchise or you've got kids are, then they'll probably get a great kick out of it because it does have all the voice acting and it looks just like the TV show. So check this one out if this is your cup of tea. If it is, and or even if it's not, leave a comment down below, let us know what you think. And big thank you to Outright Games who have been really supportive of our channel recently as we are a member of their Ambassador Club. Um, it's really great to be able to bring all of this sort of family friendly content to the channel much easier. And we're gonna be bringing even more reviews of Outright Games' lineup, including some sort of um, news and updates on their upcoming games as well but that's that for this video guys hope you enjoyed it if you have hit that like button hit subscribe and we'll see you soon for more gaming content bye for now